Time for me to explain why I believe these are the top five booster box choices for investing. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with a guy who collects cardboard in the background and is about to explain to you why he likes booster boxes this much. I mean, I do invest in this stuff. I do collect it and that's why we're here today. So I can explain the ones I think are going to be the best because opinions change and mine changes too over time. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what I consider to be the top five sealed products to grab right now. So we're going to start off number five. Icoria, Layer of the Bohemus came out what, 2020, April, you can see there. The original price was $134.95 Canadian. Prices today are Canadian. If you're in the US, you're taking off, I guess, around 30%, give or take. And if you're overseas in the UK, EU, you're taking off about 20, 25%. Now, as of March of 2022, let's face it, this product is now, it's out of stock. It's not being printed anymore. It's done. Its print run is finito. And that's a good thing for those who collect it. Because right now you can get this thing for $149.95 Canadian. So in a couple of years, it's been two years, this thing's only risen up a smidge, a couple of percentage points, right? It was a popular product. It does have the collector box attached to it. It has great cards inside that people have a good feel for. Not to mention we have Triomes. And when you join that in with the Streets of New Capenna, it's going to be a popular product going forward. This is something to keep an eye on. It drives me in and says, I'm going to get more boxes. Maybe a case or two isn't enough for my future. Maybe I want to invest in a few more boxes as time allows. It's something that I'm focusing on. Now, when we take a look today at number four, we're going to go ahead and our number four pick is going to be Modern Horizons. Now, this came out in June of 2019. This product's three years old, basically, right? We've already, you know, it's had a good life. It's out of print route. When you look at the original price of $279.95 Canadian, not bad, right? That's when it first came out, at least locally here. As of March of 2022, look at it, $339.95. It has started to uptick. It's been out of print for a while. And people do still buy the boxes from the local stores. I don't know what may be lurking somewhere in a warehouse, but me as an investor looking at this product, it is very enticing. I only have one or two boxes myself right now, and it'd be nice to expand to a couple more boxes, building my position and allowing me to sell some boxes five, 10 years down the road for a nice tidy profit. This set went over very well with a lot of players. And when you think of cards like Force of Negation, uh, Renin 6, different things like Urza and Yawgmoth, even has Mox Tantalite inside. There, and don't forget all those beautiful cycling lands. There's a lot of cards here that will draw players back to it. And if Wizards doesn't reprint quick enough, and they can keep some stuff here in the super hard to get, kind of like Force of Negation, the original product where you might get one or two Force of Negations inside of a box will just be driving the price forward as far as I'm concerned. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at number three. Because, you know, the boxes get better as we go down the list. What can you say? I like hoarding cardboard in the background. All right, Commander Legends we have here next at number three. Now, November 2020, this product came out. Here we are out of print, it's done. When it first came out, it was $139.95. Beautiful. I remember opening lots of stuff here on the channel. You guys remember too, we ordered some collector boxes and opened them. And let's face it, Jeweled Lotus is in here. And that is a harder to get product than people believe. I remember saying I thought the card was gonna be 40, 50 bucks at most, maybe 25, 30. And look where it ended up. Super hard to get, very sought after. And this set went over very well with people. Although the etched foils weren't what everyone hoped they would be, I still enjoyed them myself. And when I look at that and see 144.95 Canadian locally right now, and it's out of print, this price will start drifting upwards in the next 12 months. So I'm already planning. This is one of the boxes I am going to buy a couple of in the next 90 days just to make sure I have a couple of extra boxes for later on. I have one or two for drafting with friends, but as an investment vehicle, I want to have five or six. So I'm going to buy a couple more at some point in the near future, 30 to 60, 90 days, somewhere in there, whenever cash becomes available. Now let's go ahead. Let's check out the number two, because I know you guys are interested. Now, number two was originally my number one pick, and that is going to be Dominaria. This is a 2018 product that had a very short print run. It never got its third or fourth print run. They just ended it. 
And that drove things nuts for people who wanted it still and thought there was extra waves coming. They didn't get to build investment positions. I have some of this product now, although I never got any of the bundle packs, this is something I really wanted to get my hands on and just didn't get the opportunity until a little bit later. I do have over a case of it available to myself, but I'm very leery about letting it go because I know this product is going to rise higher. When it came out in 2018, April, you can see there it was $119.95 Canadian. Pretty inexpensive for a set like this that had Richard Garfield's hands on it. We have Mox Amber, which as of today is around $43 US for that card. We had Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, we had Karn, we had a lot of good cards, as well as the original sagas start in this set. The OG sagas are here. This is where it all began. With that nostalgia, lore, the cards involved, this set has a lot of drive for it. And again, nowadays, $299.95, and it sells pretty often. You're looking at a couple of boxes a month, they're always moving hands left and right, and I still see openings up on YouTube. So this product is still being opened, which means the stock is actually dwindling down in size. We have a great product that people desire because it was well thought of and people really enjoyed playing it at drafts and pre-releases. Great cards, it's going to drive higher. This will be a $500 box. When you're looking, it's doubled in price in less than three years. This is something that I'm keeping a very close eye on. And if I get the opportunity to grab a box, I'll probably just shove it on the credit card and not care because it's cheap enough I want to get it. And there's not that many available at your local retailer level, if any. You're looking at mainly has to be bought online at this time because the retailers sold their stuff out. I'm looking. Now, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the number one box. This is the one I think has just, it's had such a smash hit, such a drive to it that you can't ignore the potential of this box in the future. Even though it's a pricier box, I've got to mention it, and that is Modern Horizons 2, particularly the collector box, which I know costs more money, but this product was just amazing. It had great cards inside. It's a home run. Wizards did a fantastic job on this product, and it is one that I'm keeping my investment eye on very closely. I do have a couple of the collector boxes. I have a few of the draft and set boosters as well. Um, I wish I'd bought more when it was a little bit cheaper, but it's okay, the sales aren't really happening right now in this product because it's opened so well that stores don't have to lower their prices for deals. We're looking here, released in June of 2021, so almost you know a year ago, and we're looking here at $299.95. Okay, as of March, it's still $299.95, it's still in print. But how high is this gonna go after it rotates out? When you have a chance for that many fetch lands inside of a box, it just, it was beautiful, okay? We had such a good time opening this stuff and the memories and the openings and how people feel about the product and how many cards are finding homes in Commander and in Modern, it's amazing. So it's a product that I'm keeping my close eye on. I'm not gonna buy too much more of it at this time. I'm gonna wait to see if a deal comes up around Christmas time. Even if it's 20 bucks off on any of the products, it'll drive me probably to buy another box or two to have here for the channel or for my own personal investments later on. I gotta have more of it, that's what I gotta say. I wanna have more, but I'm willing to wait because it's still such a new product and it's in print still. I don't think it's gonna go higher right now as the money moves on to other products. So I'm willing to wait until Christmas time and Boxing Day of 2022 to see what happens around here or the Boxing Day like right into early 2023 to see if this box dips down even a little bit to make it just slightly more attractive to me, but I will buy more before it goes out of print, that's for sure, and it'll probably be a couple of collector boxes. I gotta say, they were just so fantastic, it'll probably be at least one or two more of those. Now, before we end off today, there's some cards I wanna, there's some boxes I wanna mention, not cards, but there's some cards within those boxes. So, for mentions, I wanna mention here, right now locally at my store, Crimson Vow, as well as um, Midnight Hunt, these products at $109.95 for a draft box, one of the lowest I've seen in a very long time. When I look at that draft box and see it for $109, I can't help but be attracted to it. The set was not bad. It was well constructed, cards were fun. I didn't even mind the whole bride and groom storyline. It was okay. But I think later on, this product will be short run. They haven't announced anything, but I think it'll be short run as Wizards moves products along. They wanna get into the new hype age. And there'll be a video coming on that later. But I just, at that price range, buying six for less than $700 Canadian and storing those, that's a pretty good investment deal. I can't see it not doubling in five to seven years at that price range, especially if it gets short run. So I'm keeping an eye out on this one. I'm probably gonna buy at least a couple of boxes. Now, when it comes to Throne of Eldraine, 
Um, people asked me about this box recently, and it's definitely on my list. It may not have made the top five, but it would be in the top 10. It's just too good of an investment to pass up on. I have three cases of this right now, and I, I'm very happy with them because it was such a great set. The first set to have the collector box series, and I didn't buy any of that. I bought some packs, but the idea of opening up something that expensive at the time scared me. Now I look at 400 bucks for a collector box, the very first one ever to come out, and it's very attractive to me. It's something I'm looking at buying right now for the channel, for something future, as well as maybe one or two for investment purposes. Now, War of the Spark. Epic. You can't say enough great things about it. It's something you should be looking at. At $179.95 Canadian, that's still pretty affordable for less than 200 bucks, getting a box like that that's been out of print for a while and had an epic storyline. Come on, Gideon dying, Liliana trying to seek redemption, the defeat of Nicol Bolas. It's gonna have a lot of people looking for it in the future. Again, I got a couple of cases, I'm okay, but other people will be looking at this, and this is before we had set booster boxes, right? This is the end of that era. So a lot of these boxes are something people should be focusing on as investment modes for later on, okay? It's a vehicle you wanna have at least a couple of boxes in if your person wants to flip these down the road. And the last one I wanna to mention today it's just a single one, and that is going to be Zendikar. Uh, uh, you can say the booster box. You can say, you know, because it had the set booster, had the draft, also has the collector. But the collector boxes were just fabulous. Getting the full art pathways, you know, modal flip lands. First time we had them out, this as well as Kaldheim, very cool. But when we look at these, not only could you get those, but they put multiple options to get fetch lands and all kinds of the really specialty lands in full art foil and stuff you could get up to five or six inside these boxes i pulled six out of one right if you looked at that video i pulled six out of a box two of those were foil it was fantastic okay you can't you can't say enough great things about it and they were underpriced for so long we're nearing the end of those life cycles products like this will go up just because of how many fetch lands you got in there and Wizards is likely not to print right now. They want the fetch lands to go up, so they're probably waiting a little while before those get reprinted again. Something to consider if you're an investment person here in Magic. So, as an ending thing, I just wanna let you guys know, yeah, I collect the cardboard, I love it, but when I look at the investment side of things, you gotta be able to hold it seven to, I used to say seven to nine years, I almost wanna say 12 years right now, but it's just so fantastic, you can't really pass up on it. Uh, when you get the opportunity. Maybe I should be buying a little bit earlier when products aren't quite as expensive. I'm focusing on that for the new year of 2023, trying to put some money aside. Guys, fantastic to talk to you all today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this investment, non-investment advice, I guess, really, right? I'm not an investment advisor. This is purely for entertainment purposes only. I'm just telling people out there what I'm investing in, in case you're curious. Everyone have a great day today. MTG Moxman, I'll see you all tomorrow. And of course, a big shout out goes out to all the fantastic patrons on the channel. Thanks again, everyone, for that continued support you show each and every day on the channel. New Patreon slots do open April 1st. They will be limited. I hope you guys can snag a spot if you want one. Tip of the day. Don't buy coffee out. Always make your coffee at home in the morning and save yourself some money. Investment tip 101 from a non-investor.